Coming to the next question in the type 1, the question looks a bit lengthy because it is presented in a different way. A rectangular lamina of size 20 mm into 30 mm rests on HP on one of its longer edge. So this makes first condition. The lamina is tilted about the edge on which it rests till its plane surface is inclined to HP at 45 degrees. So this is your second and the edge on which it rests is inclined at 30 degree to VP. This is your third condition. Draw the projection of the lamina. So this is the rectangular lamina they have given 30 mm and 20 mm. It is resting on one of its longer edge. So if I look from the top, this is how it looks. So I have drawn this, show the dimension, naming accordingly A, B, C and D. Project from all the points to get a front view. After projecting from the front view, A is visible, B is visible, C, D is not visible. So this is A dash of D dash and this is B dash of C dash and highlight this part. After highlighting this point, coming to the second condition, please make a note here. Lamina makes an angle or the surface makes an angle or it is tilted about the resting edge. All these sentences are same. So here it is making an angle 45 degree. So take one convenient point. Name this A dash, D dash. Draw a line for 45 degree. Measure A to B. Cut an arc. And remove the extra part. Name this V dash of C dash. Project from these two points downwards and project this to the right side to draw a top view. So after projecting, meet all the points A, B, C and D. Join all these points to get a apparent shape. Further, the resting edge A and B is inclined at an angle 30 degree to VP. Draw a line for 30 degree. Measure A to D, A to D, next draw 90 degree lines from these points, measure A to B which is same as D to C, cut an arc and name B and C, join all these points to complete the figure. After completing this figure, from all the points project up and somewhere from the front view project to the right side. After projecting, we know that the resting edge always falls on XY line that is A dash and D dash. Meet other points. This is B dash and this is C dash. Meet all these points to get a final shape. After joining all these points, just a briefing have a look. The lamina was resting this way with one of its longer edge. From the top view, it looks like a rectangle. So it is clearly drawn here. From the front view, it just looks like a line. It is drawn here. Next, it is tilted till it reaches 45 degree. So this angle can be viewed from the front. So front view is always written on vertical plane. It is drawn here. And its top view, the apparent rectangle is drawn here. Next. This resting edge is inclined at an angle 30 degree from the front view it looks like this from the top view it looks like this so this completes the problem. Coming to the next question a 30 degree 60 degree set square of 60 mm longest side is so kept such that the longest side is in HP so this is your first condition making an angle of 30 degree with VP. So this is your third condition make a note because when the lamina is resting on HP we should satisfy HP condition first and VP condition next. 
the set square itself is inclined at 45 degree to HP. So this is your second condition. Draw the projection. So during giving the questions, they can interchange the sentence. It doesn't mean that this condition itself is changed. Okay. Now to proceed with, you should know this is a set square. Okay. So this is the longest side and this is inclined at an angle 60 and this inclined at an angle 30 degree. One thing you need to make a note here in the set square only this length will be given and these two lengths will not be given. You need to calculate by drawing an angle. You can place this set square such that in this particular way from the top view it is looking this way or else you can place such that the top view it is looking this way but the longer side should be the reference. How to draw this? You just draw one line for a given length that is 60 mm. From this point draw 30 degree and from this point draw 60 degree. After intersection you erase this part. This is 30 60 set square. One more possibility take the length draw 30 degree this side and 60 degree somewhere from this point. So this is 60 and 30 set square. There are two possibility. You can take any one and you can proceed. But keep in mind this longer side should be the reference side. Now we will proceed with the problem. Draw the longest side. From this point take 60 degree. From this point take 30 degree. And it intersects. Erase this extra part and this is 60 degree. Name this A, B and C. From all the points you project. So this is same as your triangular lamina. 60 mm dimension. Naming this is A dash of C dash because from the front view A B is visible and C is not visible so this is B dash highlight this part second condition the set square itself is inclined means the set square is inclining at an angle 45 to HP draw the 45 degree line measure from A dash to B dash from this point cut an arc so name this a dash of C dash and this is B dash. Remove the extra part. Show this angle that is 45 degree. Next project from A and project from B. Similarly from A, B, C to the right side. After projecting meet the points. This is A, B and C. Then join a, B, C. So after joining this, we get a apparent length. Next, the resting edge is inclined at an angle 30 degree to VP. Draw one 30 degree line. Measure from A to C. A to C. Measure from A to B. From A to B, you cut an arc and B to C, you cut an arc, then you join this part. So this is A, B, C. You can erase this construction lines. Next, from all the points you project here, we know that the resting edge always falls on X, Y line. You can directly stop till here. Next, this point B somewhere meets here. Naming this is A dash and this is B dash and this is C dash. Meeting all the points completes the problem.